I just feel so grateful to be here right now. It's always been my dream. Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you about why I quit my job as a theme park designer. Wow, a theme park designer? That sounds like quite a fun job, doesn't it? Why would anyone quit? In this video, we're going to talk about what I do as a theme park designer, some of the good and bad things about working in the industry, and why did I leave the industry? Hi, I'm Chris Chen. I have many theme park videos on my YouTube channel. My goal in this video is to give you a balanced and objective point of view, but to also share my personal experience. First of all, what is theme entertainment? Themed entertainment isn't just theme parks. I have worked on projects such as retail stores, cruise ships, hotels, casinos, aquariums, zoos, and many more. What do I do as a theme park designer? There are many roles in the industry. My role was an illustrator. Often, I would create sketches to show the art director and explore different concepts for attraction ideas. I would flesh them out into what we call a POV illustration. That stands for point of view. These types of illustrations would show what it would be like when we build the project. And finally, I would do what we call bird's eye illustrations. These are when you create a drawing of the entire theme entertainment space. Other roles in the industry include engineer, architect, show set designer, graphic designer, and many more. What was it like working in the theme entertainment industry? In the industry, I was a freelancer. Many projects are project-based. That means that I got to work on a lot of different projects and brands. I got a lot more freedom and excitement, but it was a little bit more unstable. Sometimes I'd work as an in-house designer. This means you're employed by a company and spend a longer time on each project. You will work on fewer projects, but it will offer you more stability. What were some of my favorite parts about working in the industry? My favorite part about working in the industry was meeting a lot of people and making a lot of new friends. A lot of people are very passionate about their jobs. I was a part of something called the TEA, the Theme Entertainment Association. I actually served on the Western Division Board for two terms as the official photographer. That's why I have all of these pictures. As a part of the TEA, I got to go behind the scenes to a lot of theme park events where I got to meet a lot of theme park executives and designers. I got to see how they built a lot of the theme park attractions. I had so much fun going to all these different events and visiting all these places. It was such a great experience. How did I get into the industry? In my college years, I studied industrial design and concept art. I studied at places like Art Center College of Design, Carnegie Mellon, and Concept Design Academy. When I was at Carnegie Mellon, I didn't find the coursework that interesting. So in my spare time, I built a lot of carnival booths. Here are some of the projects that I've worked on. I love being able to come up with concepts, build it in real life, and seeing people's reactions. It was so fun working as part of a team. From there, I started looking into exhibit design, and that's when I learned about the theme entertainment industry. Before we go to the next part of the video, I want to go over my personal reasons for leaving the industry. Originally, I wanted to design theme parks because I wanted to bring happiness to people. However, being a freelance illustrator, I worked on mainly the conceptual level. The reality is a lot of projects would get canceled or they would change so much it would look nothing like your original idea, or it would take a minimum of five to 10 years before you would see the final product. However, if you're working on the engineering or show set side of things, you are much more likely to see your final product since you are working on the end part of the project. All right, in part two of the video, I'm going to tell you guys about the good and bad parts about working in the industry, the typical salary, the future of the industry, and some career tips. All right, here are some of the good and bad things about working in the theme park industry. The industry is primarily project-based. It's quite fun when you're a bit younger, you get to work on so many different projects and travel. However, this could be a little bit annoying when you're older. Even large companies like Disney and Universal tend to lay off employees every couple of years when the project is over. This makes it a little bit difficult if you're trying to start a family or buy a house. Now, I'll talk a little bit about how much you can make as a theme park designer. It's actually very difficult to give estimates because there's so many different roles, but I can look at architectural salaries to give us a good approximation. An architectural intern makes around 36 to 50K. This is someone who is in school or just graduated. A newly licensed architect makes an average of 60K. A senior architect makes around 78K. 
and the top 10% of architects make around 137K. And the very top percent, the best architects may make around 200K. So that's not bad, right? Now I'm going to tell you something that will blow your mind. Do you know how much the software engineers at Facebook make? Let me share those numbers with you real quick. One thing I want to point out is that an entry-level software engineer makes significantly more than a senior-level architect. Now, architecture is actually a very difficult degree to get, and getting an architectural license is even more difficult and expensive. They work very hard. How come these software engineers are making so much more money? Well, the job market kind of determines the pay. It's kind of like supply and demand. To get paid well, you can't just work hard. You also have to work smart and have a bit of strategy. My point is the theme park salary is decent, but it's not going to be the best. It's a very fun job. So you're essentially paying a premium to work in an industry that a lot of people are dying to work in. Now let's talk a little bit about the future of the industry. If you haven't figured it out by now, companies that are focused on technology tend to pay very well. Companies such as Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google are known for their very competitive salaries. It's no wonder why I've seen so many colleagues jump ship to work for technology companies. Some fabrication and scenic shops are starting to focus on building out the offices for tech companies as well. My friends aren't the only ones jumping ship to work for tech companies. Former Disney CEO Bob Iger has made the jump to working for a metaverse company as well. There are many architecture firms that have been making a lot of money designing virtual houses for the metaverse. Disney is working on a lot of metaverse and NFT projects as well. Nature has shown us you must evolve in order to survive. With the advent of better and better technologies, I predict that theme entertainment will make the jump from location-based entertainment to location agnostic entertainment. Imagine theme entertainment in an online universe. For example, right now, I teach on our school where I teach art classes to a lot of kids over Zoom. I've been able to integrate a lot of the principles from theme entertainment into my online classes, such as storytelling, world building, and immersion. In my art classes, I take kids traveling all over the world, traveling through time, and we create fantasy characters and beasts. It's such a joy to bring happiness to kids and families from all over the world. If you are a kid or adult interested in taking classes with me, you're welcome to check out the links below. Now to end this video, I'm gonna cap it off with some career advice. So if you do wanna be a theme park designer, I do recommend you learn the latest technologies. In addition to a lot of standard things like Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, 3D modeling programs, I'd also recommend you to smash the like button. I'm just kidding. Learn to 3D model in virtual reality. Learn software like Unity or Unreal Engine. Learn how to use artificial intelligence to create images. Learn a bit of coding and learn how to create apps. So let me ask you something. Do you think that theme entertainment is a legacy industry with the best days behind it? Or do you think it will be able to evolve and adopt with the future? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot about the theme entertainment industry. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the future. Bye. Yay, look, it looks like I'm an engineer. <laughs>